not just Christmas. We're referring to Wikipedia's annual appeal for donations to keep the site ad-free. And according to one of its founders, Jimmy Wales, the response has been quite positive so far. What's the future for free content on the web? Jimmy Wales joins us now from Tampa, Florida. So, Jimmy, you're trying to raise seven and a half million dollars. Is that it? Yeah, that's right. Our annual budget's about ten million, and seven and a half million is what we're shooting for in this uh, campaign. How far into that are you? Uh, you know, I haven't checked the numbers uh, just uh, this morning, but uh, I'd say we're about halfway there by now, and uh, cranking right along. Now, it's interesting because the model that we keep hearing floated as perhaps the future for newspapers, for online information services, for the news business, really, is pay for subscription. But this, you want to have donors donate, not necessarily charge for content per se, but this is your effort to keep ads off of there, to keep the subscription service from, from having to be compulsory. How do you really expect this to continue to live? Well, I think it's uh, it's really the model uh, that we're seeing become more and more dominant online. I don't see any real trend towards uh, paid content online. Of course, in some things it makes sense, and other things it doesn't make sense. Uh, but for us, there's no interest in, in pursuing anything else. This is who we are, and this is what we do. Well, there's been a fair amount of, of criticism in the past few years, though, about just the flow of information on Wikipedia, whether or not it should be edited to the degree it has been. You've rolled out some new uh, changes in, in terms of um, editorial input on, instead of just having the users themselves input information. How do you start to balance that, particularly with your fundraising efforts? I mean, are you getting more pressure to change the way that you produce your product? Um, no, and actually what you just said is uh, really not accurate. There's been no change whatsoever. Um, everything is still uh, very much generated by the community, uh, overseen by the community. Uh, the staff is not really involved in any of that at all. So that um, reports of editorial really well changes you're saying are false, that there has been uh, addition of an editorial process to the content, you're saying that's not the case at all? That's right. I mean, there has always been an editorial process. Uh, it's a community-driven process, and that's not changing. Okay, because the Wall Street Journal had been reporting, in fact, that volunteers who do provide some of that editorial support, um, a, a number of them have been leaving of late. Is that report also false? Yeah, that's completely false. Uh, in fact, the research group that put out that study has retracted a significant portion of it. It was just a simple error in the study. Okay. takes a long time, unfortunately, to get these corrections out there. Well, that's why you're on with us today, and you, you did just that, so <laughs> there you go. Um, but when you look at the broader uh, competitive space right now, there are still questions about how to monetize uh, social networking information on the web. I mean, your model, why do you think that coming out at Christmas time and asking for donations is, is the best competitive position to put yourself in? Well, I mean, I think it's important to understand that we are a charity. We're a nonprofit organization, and so we don't really think in terms of competitive position or anything like that. We're here to give a free, high-quality encyclopedia to everyone on the planet. Um, it's a charitable mission. It's a humanitarian mission. Uh, so we don't even really think about uh, competition or how to maximize revenue or anything like that. We need to get the money that we need to get our work done. Uh, beyond that, uh, we just hope people like Wikipedia and enjoy using it. But it seems, though, that in the online space, the competitive position, whether or not you say you're for profit or not, but presumably you'd like to continue to exist and continue to, to make an impression on the competitive space, the idea of more um, online companies getting into your business and providing free information, how much market share do you think you can hold on to now? Um, well, I mean, I think that this is this this trend towards uh, community-created content is still going very, very strongly, and it's very, very difficult for anyone to compete with that. Uh, my for-profit company, Wikia, okay. just recently hit number 75 on the internet and still growing very quickly. Thank so you I so much, Jimmy Wales. Stay with us.